welcome to Curie Electronics. So today, today we are going to see how to measure high current. That is, for a particular application, I have to measure 300 amps, not exactly 300 amps, 250 amps of current. That is direct current, DC current. So how I am going to measure, I am going to use a Hall effect sensor to measure the current. So this is the Hall effect sensor, current sensor I am going to use to measure the current. This is LEM make and the model number is LA3 LA305S and this can measure up to 300 amps direct current and this can be used to measure AC current as well as DC current also pulsed current also we can use to measure so this is how so it is just like a current transformer so we will the primary conductor primary coil the primary conductor will be going through this hole which you can see now how do you use this sensor as per the data sheet see here they have given a four pin connector okay it's a four pin connector so the here if you see it is numbered as one two three four the first pin of this connector is see this side is the connector okay so this first pin of the connector is the plus VCC and third pin is minus VCC second pin is the output and output is current fourth pin is NC if you go through this data sheet of this current sensor for 300 amps it will give a output of from the second pin that is the output of this uh, this transducer or sensor will get for 300 amps of current we get 120 milliamps so now what we will do we will make the connections and I have one SMBS here uh, this is the SMBS okay this SMBS 12 volt I will give to a load and the load is uh, this is the load uh, a rheostat so 12 volt and this rheostat is almost 1 ohm 1 ohm is the resistance so uh, 12 volt I'm going to connect across this rheostat so we can expect around 12 to 10 and 12 amps of current should flow through it so let me make the connections I have made the connections see I have given 12 volt to this sensor because my current is going to flow only in, the, in my application the current is going to flow only in one direction see here you could see one arrow here on this sensor so this is the current entering to the load so this is our load and the current that see this yellow color, yellow color wire the current is entering and going through the load uh, returning back to the source through this black wire and the second second is the output pin of the sensor so that second pin what I have done I have connected to a 24 ohm resistor 24 ohm resistor and the other end of resistor is connected to the ground Y means the output of the sensor is current so to give to my microcontroller the microcontroller Y which I use is 3.3 volt microcontroller work the working voltage is 3.3 volt so I want to make sure that when the sensor when 300 amps of current pass through the sensor the voltage should not exceed 3 volt so 
400 ohm resistors I made parallel. So now the equivalent resistance what I got is 24 ohm. Now I will power on the SMBS and see what is the multimeter reading. Now applied the power to the sensor and the load is connected. So current is flowing through this yellow color wire through this rheostat and returning to the source. Let us measure what is the voltage across this rheostat across the load. So it is 10 point we can take it as 10.5 volt. Now what is the output of this sensor we are getting? It is 0 0.99 0 0.099 so it is 99 millivolt let's take it as 100 millivolt now what we will do we will do the calculations and find out whether it is uh, how how we got this 100 millivolt uh, when the meter was reading around 99 millivolts so let us around it to 100 millivolt at 100 millivolt the output the sensor is giving 100 millivolt output then what is the actual current through the load let's calculate it so this is not complete then the video is not complete let's calculate and wind up the video so we have seen the setup for high current measurement so we are in an application we are going to measure 250 amps of current so this is the data sheet of this LA305S here see the, the current the current is given as the primary nominal current RMS that is that can be measured by this sensor is 300 amps see also measuring see the uh, one resistance is there RM we will see what is RM the measuring resistance uh, with minus 12 volt and 12 volt 300 to measure 300 amps in any direction whether negative current or direction current or positive current, direction current in any direction we can say that is we can use uh, up to see 70 degree celsius and 85 degree celsius so we can use a resistor between 0 ohms and 50 ohms so as i told you for my particular application in the microcontroller working voltage is 3.3 volt so i want i want to make sure that if 300 amps current amps of current flows through the sensor that is the primary uh, primary conductor or the conductor uh, which where load is connected it should, the sensor voltage the, the sensor output voltage should not exceed 3 volt so uh, see when the current is, see the output the output is 120 milliamps that is what we are going to get if 300 300 amps of current flows in the primary secondary nominal current rms is 120 milliamps and the conversion ratio also he has given us 1 is to 2500 supply voltage plus or minus 12 volt to 15 volt current consumption uh, 20 at 50 plus 50 plus or minus so roughly we can take it as 30 milliamps so uh, this is the you have seen how I how I connected this sensor it has got uh, four four pins the first pin is the plus VC and the third pin is minus VC now what we do here we will connect the plus 12 volt 
no no sorry not minus vc the first pin plus vc we will connect the 12 volt and the negative minus vc i'll connect 0 volt now what is happening what why because it's a direct current i am not going to change the direction of current flow as per the arrow direction given the as per the arrow given on the sensor same direction current will flow i'll make sure that so for my application 0 to 12 volt i'll apply so what happens if the direction of the if i put the sensor reverse that is arrow is opposite to the current entering then what happens the output is going to be 0 volt if at that particular in that case if you want an output then what you have to do then instead of 0 volt you have to give minus 12 volt then the negative it will negative negative current negative current value you will get it so here i am not applying not applying any negative voltage so my i have to make sure the given arrow direction suppose the current entering and then what happens see here one resistor is given so here what do we get we'll get the current output and that current so the second pin second pin i what i will do the second pin i will connect a resistor to ground so i have used a 24 ohm resistor i wanted 25 but when i made a combination of four resistors in parallel i got 24 ohm now what was the what was the reading we got uh, from the sensor output it was 99 sensor out sensor out equal to 100 millivolt we got so we know for 300 amps it's supposed to give what voltage we supposed to get 24 how do you find that is 24 multiplied by 0.12 amps so 2.88 volt we supposed to get 2.88 volt so if 300 amp amp amps current flows through the primary conductor we will get 2.88 volt as the sensor output then what was the voltage we got that was 100 millivolt then we can 0.1 volt so what is the current i will take it as x then what is x x is equal to if you do the cross multiplication what happens 300 multiplied by 0 0.1 upon 2.88 what value do you get so that is 30 upon 2.88 it comes to 30 upon 2.88 it comes to 10.4 amps it is come what is the value the I, I, x is going to be 10.4 amps so this whatever the voltage reading we got that is 100 millivolt that corresponds to 10.4 amps now whether it is correct or not how do you confirm see across the load rl rl equal to 1 ohm whatever the rheostat i had it is 1 ohm and across the load we have the what was the voltage across the load that is 10.5 amps then what is the current flowing through i i equal to v upon r so 10.5 upon 1 so it is going to be 10.5 amps so whatever the sensor output we got that is correct okay so uh, this sensor works on uh, hall effect and we have complete isolation between the high current side and the low current low logic controller that is a microcontroller will be working with the low voltage so we have to 
make sure this there is no this high current is completely isolated we have a high isolation so this is how uh, we make the high current measurement using uh, hall effect or current sensor if you like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button thanks for watching